Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, hope you're all well. Plot twist, didn't, <laughs> did not cut my hair before, well after. So I'm asking I was gonna cut my hair. I haven't cut my hair because I really can't be bothered and I'm just kind of being lazy. So, we're gonna ignore that before anyone's like, you did cut your I know. Um, you've seen by the title of today's video, we're gonna be doing this like insane blue goddess, so to speak. But my idea was that my drag name is like Ellis Atlantis. Atlantis comes from the lost city of Atlantis and the Disney film is one of my favorite ones. So my idea was to kind of create this empress goddess kind of look, which is how I imagined I would look if I lived in the lost city of Atlantis, so to speak. So it's kind of this mix of being very, I've kind of drawn some inspirations from like Greek mythology with like the headpiece that I've made. Um, and the jewelry is very like regal and slightly tribal, but then I kind of, the earrings are like a little bit like, um, they're like crosses, which is, what would you call that? I don't really know what you call that, but I've kind of drawn in like a few inspirations from all over to kind of like just create this kind of hypnotic looking goddess, so to speak. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. So let's just jump straight into it. Primer, I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier Hydrating Foundation Primer, and I'm just gonna put this all over the high points of my face. So I'm gonna use my MAC Pro palette and I'm gonna use this blue here and I'm gonna mix it with my House of Glam Dolls Creative Base and it's the white one and I'm just gonna make my own custom pastel blue base and I'm gonna buff that all over. So for my contour we're gonna use the same dark blue but we're not gonna pastelize it, we're just gonna use it straight from the palette to add some really deep dark dimensions to the face. So once that's all mapped out and you look like a crazy person, you're gonna blend it in. I'm just gonna use this flat top kabuki style brush and that's just so that I can keep the product really concentrated where I want it. And you know my favorite part is adding in the highlights because I just think it brings everything back. So I'm gonna use the Cover FX Power Play Concealer and it's the pure white one. And I don't wanna go crazy with the highlights because I wanna kind of keep it in between super draggy and like natural draggy, but blue. Um, so I'm just gonna do a few little dots and kind of build the highlight as I go. So I've just zoomed you when we're gonna do the eyes. I've just done this kind of like brow highlight, like a, like a negative space kind of thing. So there should be a brow, but there's not. We have the brow highlight instead and it just kind of gives this fun, no brow, but brow vibe. And I actually got that from Alexa Stone because she used to do it all the time. And I just think it's so fun, so yeah. But we're gonna map out the eye using a MAC Marine Ultra Chromographic Pencil. And I'm just gonna use this to map out my design. So we're kind of going for this cut crease with like this double wing. So I think I'm gonna do this bit like solid black and then we're gonna smoke all this out with blue eyeshadow. Now, because we're doing this kind of like blue empress, I was like, we're gonna use one of my favorite blue eyeshadow palettes, which is Blue Blood from Jeffree Star. It's so beautiful. If you haven't seen it, this is what it looks like on the inside. It's like one of my favorites. But we're just gonna be using this dark blue, this blue here, and then this sky blue color here, and then lots of glitter. Now I'm gonna use a Sigma Detailed Lip and it's this tiny little pencil brush. It's the L04 and I'm gonna take the shade Undertaker and pack it all along this line here. Now with that same My Kiko 1.20, I'm just gonna buff out the edges. Now I'm gonna take the shade Blue Monday on that same My Kiko brush and I'm gonna buff it on top of this blue. So half on the blue, half above it to kind of create this blue blend. Right 
Now I'm just gonna use this little fluffy detailer and this is just from Unicorn Cosmetics just to diffuse out all the edge. Now that that's all diffused, I'm going to take the pigment Mermaids from Peaches and Cream and I'm just going to pop that all on the white part here of my brow bone. Now we're going to cut the crease, well, we're going to cut here and then we're going to cut there and I'm going to use the My Kiko Cotton Buds and the Embryolise Micell Water to do that. So I'm going to take Blank Canvas by P. Louise and I'm going to take it on a 3.1 My Kiko brush and we're just going to fill in all this area here with the Blank Canvas. So for the lid, I'm going to use the Lit Metals Luminous Gold Pigment on the inner corner so it's super bright and reflective. And then from here and all this section here is going to be Gift Face, moonshine glitter so we're just going to be using these two for the lid. Okay now we need to add the eyeliner and we're going to do like a matching parallel wing to this here and then link it up to here. Can't really describe it so I'll just do it and then you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so now we're gonna quickly smoke out the under eye and I'm just gonna use a, like this dense pencil brush and the fluffy pencil brush just so I can pack it on and then diffuse the edges. And then I'm just gonna put the mermaid's pigment on my inner corner. Okay, so as you can see, eyebrows have appeared. Now, I was just looking at myself in the mirror and I was like, I really don't like this at all. So I put some eyebrows on and I know you'll be in the comments being like, you should have showed us. I'm doing a dedicated eyebrow video. So that's why I didn't show you because I wanted to show you exactly how to place them and position them and all the good stuff without me just quickly just drew, chucking on like a pencil brow. So don't worry, there is a brow video coming, but we just chucked on brows because I felt the look needed it. But now we're gonna move on to the skin and I'm gonna set the skin with the Arcea Mano color powder. And then my powder sat for like five minutes so I'll just brush off all the excess. Apart from I'll leave my highlights on and that's just to make sure it makes them even brighter. Now, you know straight away before I even whip out the palette, you know exactly which one we're gonna be using, but we're gonna be using the Alexa Stone palette to do my bronzing and highlighting and contouring, but in blues, because I just think this palette is like pure, it's just perfect. Like I, I can't believe no other brands have like done something like this, but just to have like all the transition colors is just perfect. And because the pans are like nice and big, I love them for doing my actual powders when I'm doing like colorful skin, as you know, because I use it for every single video where I do colored skin, but I'm just gonna use a selection of the blues to bronze up my face. And then to really sculpt and contour, I'm gonna use the dark blue here and then a mixture of the greys and I'm just gonna put these right in the hollows of my cheeks and my temples and like key areas just to really sculpt my face. And I'm literally picking up like the lightest amount of product and that's just so I can really concentrate it without it going crazily everywhere. So just to kind of build on top and kind of make my highlights even brighter, I'm just gonna kind of 
brush over the top of them with the MAC Sugar and White Powder and I'm just going to use like this little tapered brush just to really pat it in and blend up the nose and you can just see how bright it is. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so beautiful. Before I do highlighter, I'm gonna do setting spray and I'm just gonna go with the Morphe Jeffree Star Setting Mist. Oh, and then I get a mirror and then I'll just fan myself dry. So for highlighter, I'm gonna use the Aurora Glow Kit from Anastasia and I'm gonna use a big brush first and do Orion, which is this blue and kind of just on my cheeks and up here and then I'm going to go in with a more precise brush and then I'm going to put on Luna in key areas to really make it look blinding and glowy. But I want to keep it soft but impactful. If that even is possible, but we're about to do it. Just nice and slow. And I'm just patting it in like really slowly just to build it up. And now with my small precise brush, we're just gonna pick up Luna, which is this one here. And I'm just gonna tap that on the apples of my cheeks and a little bit here. Like that, oh yeah. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh beach. And then for lips, I'm gonna use Sugar Pearl Shiver Liquid Lipstick. So I'm just gonna take this pigment here, which is called Double Denim, and it's by Peaches and Cream, and I'm just gonna pat it all over the lip to make it super metallic. And there we go. I'm gonna quickly go off camera, add all the finishing touches, and then I'll be back with a final look. And here's the finished makeup look. I literally just went off camera, did my usual lashes. I added these contact lenses in to kind of give me that white milky eye, kind of like, do you know when Storm on X-Men, like someone's powers and her eyes go white? That's what I wanted from these lenses. So good old Miss Milky Eyes over here. And then I added in this jewelry. Now all this jewelry is from AliExpress. AliExpress is my haven. These earrings were like four pounds. This necklace I think was six, which is just absolutely brilliant. But let me just put the chair down for this. The star of the show is my headpiece, which I made myself from scratch. It's two pieces. It's one at the back is like this one here, which I'm moving is like one piece. And then the wings and the roses are another piece. Now the piece at the back, the, the spiky one is literally just cable ties on a headband, spray painted gold, and then the crystals. And then this, these wings here, are actually from my NYX Face Awards look like two years ago, three years ago. And I just spray painted them gold, put them on a headband, added the roses. And here is my beautiful goddess headpiece, which I'm honestly kind of gagged because I was like, yeah, I'm gonna make a headpiece. And I was like, I have no idea what I'm doing. And I spoke to my friend Giselle. So her Instagram is the other Giselle. And she does like these insane looks. I don't know if it's gonna focus on it, but she does like these insane looks. Like this is like an Egyptian one that she's done. And then she did this other one with like this crazy like UV headpiece. But um, yeah, so she, I asked her for some advice like how to do it and she basically gave me some tips. So here's the headpiece. I found it a lot easier than I thought it would. So I was like, you know what, I'll, we'll do some tutorials. So not yet, we'll kind of get into the flow of doing a few more tutorials first. But in the future, look out for some headpiece tutorials because I'll be showing you how to make insane headpieces like that. So, you know I said in previous videos that I was gonna be giving shout outs to people who are recreating my makeup looks on Instagram and tagging me. Well, today is the first video that we're gonna be doing that in because when I said it before, I'd filmed all those videos in the same day, so I realized I couldn't show anyone because none of you knew what 
none of you knew that I would be doing that yet because all the videos were filmed, you get the idea. So I gave it a couple of weeks and now, today's the first video where we're gonna be doing it and the first shout out, and this one is like such a special one for me, is to ex-girlfriend the drag queen, that's right, just had to double check, but I'll put like Instagram pictures up here. And they created my campaign image for my lashes. So the image that you see here on my lashes, they recreated it and it's like so crazy to think that A, I have my own lashes, but B, y'all are recreating the look. So that's just mind blowing. But yeah, definitely go and check out ex-girlfriend, the drag queen, such a long drag name. But they do really fun, quirky looks like, look at that beautiful rainbow eye. Um, and there's this beautiful kind of like gothic-esque short fringe look, but definitely go check them out Leave them some love and who knows keep tagging me in your pictures of my recreations No Tag me in your recreations of my work and maybe you can be featured on the next one But I guess that concludes today's video So if you like the video don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel Let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of this tutorial and what other tutorials you want to see and I guess that's it. So until then, I'll see you on the next one. See ya.